Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I think we all know what this is about, and uh, you all have been after Justice Thomas. We are fully aware of this. And I, I think that uh, the whole charade is truly disgusting. Now, if we go back to the Dobbs leak, and I'm one of those, I'd like to know who the leaker is, and I'd like to know why they did it. But since that leak, our Supreme Court justices, especially Thomas, Alito, Gorsuch, Kavanaugh, Barrett, they have been subjected to threats on their lives. Their families have been subjected to threats on their lives. And yet, this is what you and Senator Whitehouse are choosing to focus on, is a discrediting of the court. And we know what this is about. We should be talking about protections for the court. I, I think that it appears that what you're doing is you're going after them because right now you don't agree with some of the decisions that are coming out of the court. So instead of letting them exercise and fulfill their jobs, what they're required to do, what are you doing? You're going after a way to delegitimize the court as an institution. Tennesseans know this. We see it. But, you know, Senator Graham mentioned Justice Sotomayor. Now, this summer, what we learned was that over the years, her staff has pressured public institutions to buy her books. And these books and her book deals have earned her $4 million. And I haven't heard you mention that. None of you have mentioned that. You don't want to talk about that. Nor have you mentioned the fact that she refused to recuse herself from not one, but two copyright infringement cases concerning her book publisher. You clearly don't want to talk about that one either. So I have filed an amendment issuing a subpoena to Justice Sotomayor's staff who helped to sell her books as well as to her book publisher so we can fully understand the backstory of these deals. And since we're in the business of issuing subpoenas now, here are a few more that I've filed. A subpoena to Jeffrey Epstein's estate to provide the flight logs for his private plane. Given the numerous allegations of human trafficking and sexual abuse surrounding Mr. Epstein, I think it is very important that we identify everybody that was on that plane and how many trips they took on that plane and the destinations to which they arrived. I've also filed a subpoena authorizing Secretary Becerra to come before this committee and explain to us how HHS and the Office of Refugee Resettlement has lost track of 85,000 children. In addition, I filed a subpoena to compel the Biden DOJ to provide all documentation about their disastrous decision to terminate the successful China initiative. That was a program that was critical to targeting and prosecuting Chinese spies in America. Next, we've got to get to the bottom of the far left's effort to take down President Trump. That's why I filed a subpoena for all documents relating to any political donations and participation by special counsel Robert Mueller's staff. And let's talk about the two tiers of justice that we're all seeing in the Biden administration. This administration loves to talk about misinformation, but they clearly have the goal of censoring conservative speech online. In the latest example of this, DOJ, on behalf of the FTC, filed a privacy and securities practices suit against Twitter. So I think we need to get to the bottom of 
President Biden's efforts to silence Elon Musk. That's why I filed a subpoena to compel DOJ and the FTC to provide all documents related to the investigation of Elon Musk. So, Mr. Chairman, I think there are real issues that we should be talking about, social media and the way it's destroying our kids' lives. Wall Street Journal has an article in on this today. Our southern border is wide open. It is a vulnerability. The president's administration has lost track of 85,000 children. The world is on fire. But what you have chosen to do is to launch an assault on the legitimacy of the Supreme Court. If you want to take up our time and go there, Mr. Chairman, we can all go there. I think this is a sad day for this committee and for the confidence that the American people would like to have in our institution and in this prestigious committee. Thank you, Senator. Um, when I recognize you, I didn't know what subject you wished to speak to. As I announced at the beginning, the first thing we'll consider the two judicial nominations, then we will move to the subpoena, and I see people seeking further recognition on that issue. So after lengthy debate on these nominees at the last meeting, the question is- Mr. Chairman, I, Chairman I, I want to speak on the judges. Senator Cotton. No, you go ahead, you Tom. Speak to the judges as well? I'm, 